you an update about my hair. The light is right on it. So let's cover this up. It's still pretty whacked. But last night, the owner of the shop, after a long argument and a day of bullying, after I put up my last video, she, instead of bashing me as bad as I thought, besides calling me a broke bitch, um, I'm okay. I might not be swimming in debt with a big house, but my house is paid for and my car is paid for. So I'm all right. If this makes me a broke bitch, so be it. I'm fine with that. But on the flip, I am getting ready to go to her salon to pick up the rest of my money. And I thought I would do an update while I do my eye makeup on the way there. I am dressed down because I'm going to visit a friend later. And I'm sure we'll just chill out and hang out the rest of the day. So, I'm not even uh, wearing anything fancy. Which I'm sure I'll get attacked on later for that. Um, I have my hair back because clearly... Hold on, clearly... Clearly, I, it, it kind of sucks to go out like this. And, of course, the light makes it look more blonde than it actually is. But it's almost like a brown color. Um, I know a big, big issue was, well, she offered you to redo it. But she also came at me with an attitude. And why would, for one thing, why would I want her to touch my hair after she's clearly got an attitude and then her boyfriend comes up in my inbox and threatens me and calls me Shrek? I don't think I look like green or like Shrek. My hair looks kind of green, which you can't see. But if he wants to call me Shrek for that reason, okay. Anyway, and I'm Karen. Hi, y'all. I'm Karen. Anyway, so let me let that out. I actually give her mad respect because she is a great hairdresser. She did not do my hair. The owner of the shop did not do my hair. I wish she would have done my hair. However, that's not the way it worked out. Had she been nice at me and said, you know what, I'm sorry about the issue. I don't mind fixing your hair. I would have said, you know what, I would love for you to fix it. That'd be great. But that's not the way it turned out. So, anyway, long story short, I get notified by like 20 million messages that she's doing a live feed on Facebook last night. So, I am expecting probably to get torn another asshole because... I just assumed, and especially the way I was bullied by all of her friends yesterday. <sighs> but fortunately, she came to some sort of um, understanding in herself that, you know, the right thing to do would be to give me some money back. And she even offered me gas money, which I'm, I'm pretty impressed, I will say. Um, I have always had mad respect for her because she has been one of those girls that gets out and does the shit that she's supposed to do. Works hard. More power to you, honey. That's great. That's great. But there, it didn't have to come to this. It didn't have to. So many other girls now that have had problems with the other girls in your shop came to me yesterday and said... You know, this is not the only time, but I was charged even more money. And I didn't even get anything near I, what, you know, what I wanted. So anyway, I'm just like, it's sad that because the owner of the shop is a pretty popular girl in our community and has a lot of followers because she does do good hair. Her hair is on point. She's been... Uh, Put out in spreads and magazines and stuff like that. And she's a beautiful girl. But you know what? That doesn't mean you can have a nasty attitude. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I'm not the one that won't stand up to a bully. That's who I am. And that's why I said yesterday. And I know your man is watching. That's why I said I'm being true to myself. You might say I've got this problem, this problem, this problem. But while you are relying on a whole bunch of... A, a business can easily crash. You got lots of mouths to feed. You got a lot of house to pay for and a lot on that Maserati too. But you know what? Let me keep it classy. He just hounded me yesterday. Let's just put it that way. 
which I will forgive and forget. Anyway, so I want to do my eyeshadow on this Bailey Sarian Estate Palette. I've used it before. I got it in my Ipsy box two months ago. It's freaking an amazing color scheme. I don't know what I'm going to do today. I kind of got a neutral look on my face. Nothing too, too serious. Not too much highlight. I just had been crying because my hair had been so messed up for the last couple of days. So I figured I better do something with my face. Anyway, so I'm gonna go in with this, put in my transition. I really do have to say, I'm gonna still have the plastic on this. I really do have to say that I am impressed that she changed her mind about giving me a refund because initially that was a no-no. There wasn't anything that either one of them were gonna do about the refund. And to be honest, that's part of the reason why I did the review. Because to me, you if you want good business and you wanna stay in business, have good business practices. It's not that hard. I mean, and if I never said anything, just like this mechanic that messed with my car a few years ago, he was supposed to have changed the entire motor out. Because my time and chain, yes, I have a, a Chevy Equinox, a newer model, and it was put on bulletin that the time and chain, um had issues to where it would stretch before it was supposed to. I like that color. And so when I had the car, I had like, when I first got the car, it was right out of factory warranty, but because it was certified like new, it uh, came with extra warranty. Anyway, the car's time and chain at 22,000 miles messed up at Mm, again at 38,000 miles and again right after the drivetrain warranty had ran out about 1,500 miles. I paid a mechanic in my town which I should have went public with that because he's had so many people say the same thing that this guy has ripped me off and no one said anything about it and you know what sometimes people are too scared to blow the whistle. Well you know what I'm not that one. I don't care if it makes me the unpopular person. I don't care if people talk smack about me because like at the end of the day, I will stand up for what I believe. And if somebody is running me over, I will sure enough stop them because I will stand solid like a brick wall. And if that makes me a Karen, so be it. I don't care because there are small people in this world that can't stick up for themselves. And then there's people like me that's supposed to stick up and do the right thing for bullies and narcissists and assholes. He told me after I found out from the dealer after, I don't know, months of holding on to my car, never fixing it, after breaking down twice, I'm taking this rose tattoo, putting it in my crease. I don't know if you can see it. In my crease. Anyway, and back to the, the story. He tried to, I told him, I said, okay, if you took my motor out and changed it out because he said it would be cheaper and better to just change the whole motor out versus fixing the time chain and so on and so forth. And if you have a mechanic in your family or anything, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Well, he takes me to the side of his shop and shows me this big pile of junk. And I was like, what is this? This ain't my motor. It's like from a whole bunch of motorcycle parts. But I said, okay. I said, I knew at that point he was full of crap. So what I did is I told him, I'm just going to let the car go back. I'm not going to continue to pay the payments and this keep breaking down on me because it clearly should have been put on recall, which subsequently it has been put onto some class action lawsuit and I am awaiting a big, hopefully, some cash to cover all of my expenses from the mishaps over the years. Of course, they said it was supposed to be here in August. It's what, October on, and no money. But anyway, after putting $7,500 into a piece of crap, 
plus paying for all of the um, car payments and oil changes and all the regular maintenance stuff. And anyway, so this guy, I knew him for 10 or 15 years. He worked with my ex-husband. We went to his wedding, for goodness sake. I mean, I was like, I trust this guy. He's worked on my car a million times. Well, clearly no. I had already gotten divorced, and I don't know if it was because I was a single woman and couldn't really, well, I don't know. I've always heard that, you know, some men think that they can get over on women because they're, I don't know, without a man. I'm not sure. Um, anyway, okay, so I think I'm going to go into the semi corner, the color Venice Flings. It's kind of like a purple color. So, anyway, I really like that. Long story short, I tell the guy, I said, just park it in your car. I'm not, he says, don't worry, you... First he gave, oh, I could go on and on. It's a long story, but he said he was supposed to honor me a year warranty because he realized that I was catching on to his scheme that he in fact did not change my motor, but in fact rigged it long enough to let it work and get it out. Well, I know this. I took it to the Chevrolet place in Polly's Island little north of where I live, and um, they pull it up for free. I have to give them mad props for that. They pull it up for free to look to see if they can find the VIN number on the car. No. They couldn't find it, of course. So I go back and I tell the guy, his name's Larry Etheridge on Penny Royal Road in Georgetown, South Carolina. He's been in business for 15 or 20 years. So don't go to him. He'll do the same thing to you. All right, so mind you, I've paid him $2,800 for a motor. I've paid another $1,200 for a rental car. Then it broke down a month after. He wouldn't honor his warranty. I decide it's time to take matters into my own hands and stop depending on him. I go and I tell him, okay, I see the motor that he supposedly showed me was my old motor. And then I made some connections. I was like, can you come pick this car up? Fortunately for me, he offered, he's like, if you take it to my friend over in Conway, South Carolina, who is a certified mechanic, I will gladly go tow your car from Larry's shop all the way to Conway. <sighs> Amazing guy, by the way. I will put his name and information in a subsequent video to give him mad props because he deserves it. He did that for me for free. He went and picked up my car, took it all the way from Georgetown all the way to Conway, which is about 35 miles maybe, and took it to the mechanic. The mechanic replaced my motor in three days versus the seven weeks Larry had it that I had to pay for a rental car the whole time because he was really trying to rebuild my motor. Even though I paid for a, a used one, whatever we agreed on. I don't even know. I didn't get it, so who knows. Anyway, and then changed the receipt, which I happened to find. Anyway... So, I take it to the other guy, and I, while he had the old motor out, I said, is there any way, and I, I've already explained to him the whole situation, Larry just thinks I'm letting the car go back and towed it back to my house, and the other guy, JP Automotive, I think, and I could be wrong, I shouldn't have said that, I should edit that out, anyway, I do, I do believe that's him, anyway, very professional guy. He's like, give me a few minutes and I'll go get the VIN off of your motor. Well, I look and I said, you give me a minute and I'll let you know if that's the same motor that's supposed to be in my car or a new one. I'm going to call down to Hendrick Chevrolet in Charleston, South Carolina, where I bought the car to start with to see if that matches the same VIN. I know if it matches, it's not been changed out. 
Karen attitude, huh? Yeah, uh huh. Anyway, so Karen, being the Karen that I am, I called down and called the automotive department at, like I said, Hendrick Chevrolet in Charleston. And I say to the guy, look, this is what's happened to me. I'm having trouble. I've had trouble. It was put on bulletin back the last time I had you guys fix it when it was under warranty. I said, now I'm incurring all these charges because it was this much out of warranty for the drivetrain. I said, you got to help me out. I'm going to have to sue this guy because I'm out $4,000 and I'm having to pay another $2,500 for the other guy to fix it. And he says, give me a few minutes. I'll fax you over a vehicle history report with all of the information that you're requiring. So I go, I was off work that day and I went in and I explained, well, they all knew what was going on. And I said to them, please let me get the fax number and send this over to him, you know, and hold it on, hold on to it for me <clears throat> until I get there because I had to go pick up my car in Conway because it was finally done. Or not done, but it was done. Anyway, sure enough, I get the vehicle report and the picture from the inside of the motor from the new mechanic who actually fixed my car. Turned around, sent it back to me, and as the uh, Hendrick Chevrolet sent the uh, paper to me, I compare the two. Somebody was with me, I don't remember. And I call and I said, it matches. And he's like, well, ma'am, it, it's clear then. He didn't change your motor out. He ripped you off. Of course, he didn't see it that way, the narcissist that he is. And though I sued him and was granted a judgment of $4,000, basically, he never paid it. So now, not only am I out $4,000, but another $2,500 on a fix that I shouldn't have had to pay for because Chevrolet made a bad design. So clearly, getting screwed over is like almost, it must be in my karma because it happens a lot because I have other stories too. Anyway, I need to be more careful. So back to my eyes. Maybe that's why I'm a broke bitch. Because of con artists like that. Anyway, so I really, really, really like this palette. And I really, really, really like these colors. So far, yes, I'm getting back to what I should have done. I used Bonfire on my crease. I used Rose Tattoo in the corner. And then I used Venice Fling in the, to darken up my crease. Okay, I'm just gonna fluff it out, blend it out, blend it out up there. I already did the rest of my makeup before and I wasn't gonna do a YouTube, but I'm gonna be honest, I really think that she did a great job as in not bad mouthing me anymore. I don't know what happened from the morning video that she posted to the evening, talking about the owner of the salon again. But she wasn't nasty. And I'm, I'm actually thankful for that. You know what? It made things a lot better today. And hopefully today when I go in there, everything can be wiped clean and everything be okay. But we'll see. All right. So I need, I really don't like, I see that there is a ocean, I can't even read it, Ocean Avenue. It's like a sparkly color right there. I don't know if I really want that one on my lids, but maybe. I got another thing out. I haven't used this in ages. It's a Stila Magnificent Metal Metallic Pixie Dust. It's really pretty. It's kind of like, I mean, it's old. I've had it forever, but I love it. I absolutely love it. I think I'm going to put a little more darkening up in my crease. Mm, I don't know, maybe. I 
just turned it brown a little bit more than I wanted it to. So I put some more Venice Fling back in it. It's a little hard to move this color in the crease because it's it's more of a like a metallic dark shade, but I don't want to put metallic dark on my eyelid right now. It's fallish, but it's not that fall. And of course, one of my contacts came out because I had a really bad migraine this morning when I woke up. All right, so I think it's time now. Ooh, let's see here. I'm gonna use this as a base and then put the glitter over the top of it, I think. Oh, let's see. I really, really like this palette. Um, it's made by Estate. I'm sure you could probably go to their website. Um, Estate, I've never heard of that cosmetic brand except for from this, but. There's this really dark gold. I don't think I want that in the corner. I think I'm going to use this again or some of my highlight because I don't have enough highlighter on. Um, this is my Ofra All of the Lights highlighter. It's so pretty. It was on sale. I always look for clearance. And I always find the best deals. And I always use coupons because I'm like a hoarder of makeup. So coupons are good. Anyway, I'm going to put this in my inner corner. And my brow bone, the gold color right there. Let's see it. Anyway, I have two job interviews tomorrow. I wasn't going to try to find somebody to do my hair before then I just figured I would pull it back so you couldn't tell as much but I think today since she's decided to give me a refund I think I'm going to go up to the beach while I'm there with visiting my friend from Washington maybe we'll find a salon that will do my hair we'll see I don't know hopefully it'll turn out better than this I know Amber would have never let me leave the salon like this and I think that's part of the reason why she felt maybe a little bit of an uh, obligation to pay some money back. Because I know, like I said, she, she does take pride in her work. I'll give her that. Anyway. Okay, so here is the... Oh, I didn't even put the other thing on. Duh. Clearly, I have a migraine and one contact in. All right, I can't even see my brushes. Yeah, you seen that red, didn't you? You see that red, don't you? And the black, and the, ooh. <sighs> I tried not to wash it too much, so it would be almost the same. If I had to go back in to get them to fix it, and I didn't want them to say, oh, it don't look bad, you're just full of crap. But I had to wash it this morning. Two days of no washing. It was like, woo, it's time to wash it. All right, so back to Bailey Sarian. One of these days I will do that, but I just haven't got to it. All right. Oh, yes, I do that. Ocean Avenue. It's really buttery and creamy. And I'm going to put that on my lid. So soft, so creamy. I love this. It's my, actually much better on the eyelid than I was expecting. I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but it's really pretty. I should probably wet my brush a little. Spray it with my Fix Plus. Yeah, that darkened it up some. Hmm, pretty. I got some 
mask is on there. I wish it was really that bright though. The color, the light is washing it out, but fortunately it's not. So sad. I'm going to have to dye my hair brown probably. And I haven't been brown since I was a teenager. I just like blonde hair on me. Sucks. Sucks so bad. Alright, so now that I got that on there. Maybe I'll be a whistleblower attorney one day. Go back to school after I teach a few years. Yeah, I might do that. All right, anyway, like, fight for the little ones. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, let's see here. Mm, what am I gonna use? I guess the same, same brush, but I need a little dish to put this in. I guess I'll use this metal thing. Let me see here. Oh, I definitely need glitter glue because this is kind of dry. It's just like regular glitter now. Oh, my head hurts so bad. I don't even know why. I took melatonin last night because I'm going to be honest, this whole fiasco with my hair has kept me unnerved. Okay, so I'm using uh, Too Faced glitter glue. I don't even know if I have any left in here. Oh, I do. All right, I'm just gonna pat that on the top of my lids with this uh, Sigma Firm shader that I was using just a minute ago. Yeah, put some on my brush. I'm not gonna like do too much, just a little. I say a little, it's glitter. That's not likely. Okay, put some on this side. And I'm only going like halfway. I'm not going all the way in. So it's only like, I'm not cutting my crease, but it's like half of my crease. All right, so I'm gonna go in with, I'm actually gonna use this brush because it's still got some glitter glue on it. And put that Stila Magnificent Metals, whatever the name of it was, I already told you, on my lid. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, kind of went a little too far up. It's pretty though. Okay, let me put it on the other side. <gasps> Take a break. Stand oh. up and stretch your legs. Alexa is giving commands. Oh, nothing, hmm. Alexa. I'm not sure. Hmm, I'm not sure. Hi, Alexa. Hi. <gasps> Let's see if she talks back. Well, this side, I clearly didn't have enough. Freaking man. Glue. So, I guess. And it's patching up, of course. All the pink disappeared. <laughs> All of the pink. I'm gonna go back over that crease to darken it up where the glitter transferred because I have hooded eyes. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Yes, I'm Karen. <laughs> I'm gonna say that every video now. I'm Karen. I'll probably get hate comments from that too, but I don't really care. They should have been able to tell yesterday. I subjected myself to it for one day. The lady said, no, you know what? I'm stronger than that. Never second guess yourself, ladies. Never be a follower, always be a leader. All right, so I'm taking a Morphe brush I got out of my BoxyCharm box last month. It's just like a, I don't know, it doesn't have a number or anything on it. But I'm running that back through, and of course my glitter is getting everywhere, but this doesn't have to really be perfect, does it? 
<laughs> it's makeup. It'll get washed off tonight. All right, so let's put on some liquid eyeliner if I can find it up here in my my messy oh oh my messy vanity. It's I'm crazy mess. Okay, I'm using Ofra Verified Liquid Black Eyeliner. And I so messed up my eye makeup because of the fallout and I did my foundation first for the palette. I did, I will tell you something kind of sweet. So I dated this guy I met when I was in Europe. Um, we were engaged even. We got engaged last year when I went to Germany and he moved from France to Germany. And of course he wanted me to move to France first and then to move to Germany. And I'm actually writing a book about this because we have a really crazy connection. Like his English is not that good, but our connection is amazing. Anyway, so Yesterday, you know, after I guess all of the hoopla on my, uh, because of my YouTube video about the review of my salon uh, trip, he, he was, you know, we didn't cut each other off Facebook. Like, we still keep in touch, and occasionally he'll call and FaceTime me and we'll chat. Anyway, and he picks the, he calls me and he's like, are you okay? You know, there's like six hours difference. And it was like eight or nine. So it was like in the middle of the work day. He's like, I got to go to work, but I just wanted to check on you. And I was like, yeah, I'm fine. He's like, okay, I will talk to you later. But you know what? I wish all exes were like that. To where you can just call and say, hey, are you okay? You know, and if you need me, I'm still here for you. You know, we didn't break up in the terms of, I ha well, we did. Yes, we did. We, we did fight. <laughs> it was, I hate you for a little while. But, you know, after that healed, we, we have been able to become pretty good friends. And I'm, I'm thankful for that. Um, you know, sometimes you're better as friends than lovers. And because I can't move to Germany and he doesn't want to move here, I figure, you know what? If it's meant to be, it's, it'll happen later in life. I'm trying to find my eyelashes. I have a child. Ooh. He is seven. He's my everything. I had my first child when I was 20, or no, no, what am I saying? When I was 16, I am putting on House of Lashes, Lux, what are they? Iconic. And I found this new glue. You gotta try it. It's Duo, I got it, okay, so I live in South Carolina, but I was in California. Um, it's Quick Set Strip Lash Adhesive Duo Glue. I have never seen this around on the East Coast. It looks like I used it, no, not really. Anyway, so this stuff sets fast. Um, normally I like the House of Lashes glue, which I don't even know where it's at right now. But my House of Lashes glue works really good. Two, and it stays on long for like several days even if I didn't want to take my lashes off, you know. But this stuff, because I always feel like I'm in a rush to do my makeup. If you're in a rush, you need to get this. You need to look on eBay. You need to look on Amazon. You need to go to Walgreens.com. Walmart.com, something like that if you're still scared to go shop. I doubt it. But if you can't find it in your area, look for it online. It's worth it. It was like $5.97. And, you know, California stuff is pretty expensive. So it's, it's probably cheaper, a little cheaper online or if you live on the East Coast or something like that. So I'm going to let those sit there while I find some um, lipstick. Um, I always wear nude and red. That's the only two colors I wear. It's because everything else makes me look really pale and pasty, and I hate that. Anyway. So, of course, because I have So, I got interrupted because my friend called that is waiting on me, who's at the beach. And in the meantime, I put on eyelashes and completed my look. And what I used for my face, which I really actually really like today, except for the stupid spot of eyeshadow that dropped down on my eye down there. I used Huda Beauty Faux Filter in 
milkshake. No, milkshake brings all the boys to the yard. Yeah, that. And then Bisque Medium, um, Mark Jacobs Remarkable, but I used number 28. I have another bottle down there. Um, just for the dark part. Um, and then I used the Dot, a, a pump, a Forever Glow by Dior Skin Glow in color 2N. And that's the color I got. Um, I used... For my bronzer, I just used Hula Bronzer, it's simple. And then for my blush, I used a Pretty Vulgar that I got out of, it's called Make the Blush, Hush Blush by Pretty Vulgar. I got that out of the um, BoxyCharm box. Anyway, and what else did I use today on my face? I used Tatcha, uh, whatever this is. What is this called? The Silk Canvas underneath that. And also to moisturize my face, I used Clinique dramatically different gel moisturizer. I have really oily skin, so I try to like keep it hydrated with more of a gel consistency. Yesterday, I got in the mail um, a microdermabrasion pen that I ordered, uh, my camera that I just got, and um, the Michael Todd, because Clarsonic went out of business on September the 30th. I got, I had to get a new brush. It was like, it started beeping. I'm like, I've had this thing forever. And it is a part of my daily skin routine. So, I had to get something else to replace it because I didn't know what was wrong with the other one. And since I went out of business, I mean, what do I do? Anyway, so I got the Michael Todd um, Ultrasonic. I don't, I'm not sure of the name of it, but I will do a video on that next. Um, after me going to get all my money back. Yeah, you can see the little dot of makeup there. Anyway, I hope you guys have a great day and thanks for listening to my Karen and an update. And hopefully I don't look too much like Shrek today. Ciao.